A mother struggles to breathe as her young children watch on. They all have COVID-19. The man who's come to help is a volunteer who's brought oxygen and reassurance. He's one of 100 volunteers from the Sai Mai Will Survive group who've been run off their feet in northern Bangkok. They've been broadcasting what they see live on Facebook to raise awareness. Uh, uh, OK, OK. Thailand's capital is grappling with around 4,000 new cases every day, most of which are the Delta variant. Hospitals are full, so volunteer groups are putting their own health at risk to answer hundreds of calls from people who can't get a hospital bed. We realise how hard-working and how tired doctors and nurses are. What we're trying to do is to help relieve some of those burdens. And those burdens are hitting some families harder than others. Pia Wang Kodawang's mother died from COVID. Now she watches on anxiously as her sister is hooked up to oxygen. My mother had serious symptoms from the beginning. I called and called to say my mum couldn't handle it anymore, but nobody came. The nurses kept saying there were no beds. Thailand has a culture of volunteering and it's been an important safety net during this pandemic. As well as people delivering oxygen, thousands of other volunteers have been doing their part in different ways. From this Bangkok car park, the Food for Fighters group makes around 10,000 meals a week for people in home isolation who can't afford to shop at online supermarkets. We didn't make any magic. We didn't make any special things. We just do what we can in this crisis. The Thai government has been widely criticised for its slow vaccine rollout. Less than 10% of the population is fully vaccinated. The country's volunteers are seeing the consequences of that play out day after day. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Bangkok.